Hi everyone. Well, you know, I haven't done a vlog in a while, so I thought it's about time I did one. So anyway, I want to welcome you guys to my blog, Coffee, Tea, Wine, and Soda. Hi everyone. I'm Nancy and welcome back to my channel. I'm so super excited to see you guys again. You guys are awesome. It means so much to me that you're able to take a few minutes out of your day to spend with me. It means more to me than I can ever let you know. So thank you. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. If you are new to my channel or you've been here before and you just haven't had a chance to subscribe yet, oop, just click that little button over there, that little red subscribe button. I would love to have you join our family and just would love to read your comments and get to know you guys a little bit better. So anyway, today, I haven't done a vlog vlog in a while. So I think my last vlog may have been, you know, the big turning 66 extravaganza. Yeah, that's so much fun. Let me tell you, turning six, well, you know, it's not as fun as turning 33, but I suppose it's better than being 106, right? But anyway, so, and I think the last one that I did before that was probably in March where I showed my happy planner, my planner, my journal, whatever you want to call it. So it's been a while since I did one. And so I'm not going to bore you at the end, but at the end, I probably will try to sneak in um, April and May. Yeah. And then I'll try to catch up, catch up with the vlog another month. But anyway, for my vlogs, it's just kind of, I don't really have a game plan. I just kind of sit and chat maybe about different videos I've got coming for the month or different things that I'm working on. Not that I'm really working on anything. Um, and m maybe talk about my planner, things like that. But anyway, it's always so much fun just getting a chance to sit and chat with you guys. So anyway, the reason for this vlog, the coffee, tea, wine, and soda is my friend Alfred. So anyway, if you don't know Alfred, He's a YouTube content creator. I will have him linked below. And he is such such a fun guy. So I think I met Alfred during Vlogmas last year. And he was doing like the Aldi, uh, the beer and the wine calendars, the advent calendars. So I think that was kind of like where we met him, where we met. And so we've kind of been a regular on each other's channel since then. He has got, oh my gosh, the cutest little puppies in the whole wide world. They were even on my New Year's vlog. I had a picture of his puppies at the end of that. So they're just really, really cute. He and his wife, oh my gosh, they treat their babies, their fur babies so much, with so much love. They, You can just tell that they love their puppy so much. And, um, you know, they would do different shopping trips and things that they do their little um, going through the store, like with Marshalls and things like that, and the grocery store and Petco, things like that. And you're always going to see them hanging out at the puppy aisle, getting new toys for their puppies. Absolutely love their puppies. And Alfred is, um, yes, they've got a nice piece of land in Connecticut and he's been farming. He, well, not, not farming, planting like a nice, nice big garden with vegetables, all kinds of flowers, all kinds of wildlife comes to the yard. So if you're interested in like going through the stores and puppies and um, vlogs of what he's doing in the garden and things like that, I think you're going to love Alfred. So I hope that you check him out. He will be below. But anyway, for this soda, Alfred made me buy it. I was watching one of his videos the other day and he had a Pepsi with pineapple. I've never seen that before. And so I went, um, well, of course I didn't go out cause you know, I'll do that, but you know, online, like at Walmart and Target, things like that, Cub, Coburn's, those stores that would deliver to me. None of them had Pepsi with pineapple in it. But then I was like, oh, well, maybe it just hasn't come to our area yet. So today I was doing what I normally do on the weekends. I try to catch up on some commenting, watching some videos and on somebody's video, right before the video started, they had an ad for Pizza Pizza, the Caesars, the Caesars place that had a special on Pepsi with pineapple and pineapple pizza. And I thought, oh my gosh. And I haven't been to a Caesar Caesar. I'm going to say 30, 35 years, maybe even longer than that. It used to be big back in Massachusetts. Um, when the girls were little and we'd go shopping at Kmart and I don't even know if Kmart's there anymore but inside the Kmart's they had the Caesar Caesar pizza and so you'd put in your order when you went in and then you did your shopping you picked your pizza up on the way out and then 
I don't know, it's up been out here for a while, but I've never gone to one. But after I saw that ad for the pineapple pizza with the pineapple Pepsi, I said, you know what? I got to do it. So anyway, I'm going to open it right now in front of you guys. I got my pineapple pizza. I added, of course, on top of their pizza. So their regular one is just uh, smoked ham and pineapple. But of course, I added uh, the sausage, onions, and peppers. All righty. So looking forward, I've never had this. And of course, usually when I drink soda, it's diet. And I, my favorite, of course, is diet cream soda. And of course, I got it in my mom's glass because I thought it matched my dress and my hair. Alrighty. Um, it smells like really sweet soda. You can definitely smell the fruit in here. Cheers, everyone. Happy vlog. It's surprisingly good. It's like pineapple juice mixed with Pepsi. Okay, I can do this. I suppose if you wanted to spice it up, you could put some rum or vodka in here, but it's already got enough calories, so I don't think I need any of that. So I'll show you my pizza. And I just took a couple of pizzas, pieces out here. Of course, I put it on that same plate because it matched my dress. Thank you, Mom. And yeah, so we got the sausage, the pineapple, the onions and the peppers, the ham and the pineapple on that. And then they also had some brownie dessert. So I got a little piece right here. So this is brownie with cookie dough on top of it and Twix. And yes, yeah, it's, it's a melted mess. It's It's been really warm today. So that's a melted mess. But anyway, that's going to be my dinner tonight with my pizza, pineapple. Pepsi. But anyway, back to my blog. So anyway, I've been really, really slow at reading. I had a really great month in May. And then I think it was May. Could have been April. Could have been May. And then I just kind of lost it. And there's one book that if when I got it from the book of the month and I was telling you guys about it and I was reading the synopsis and I think I read a first page or two and it was like, oh my God, I got to read this. This book she started it just sounds amazing and so i probably read about 50 pages right after i did that video and it was really hard to read the pages um they're not like a crisp white they're like a soft beige or something and the print is gray and it's just been really hard for me to pick up and read but when my timu hauls i got a lighted one of those magnifiers so i'm excited to get back into that but i've been listening to while i'm working I listened to some audiobooks, and it's been like the zombie books, things like that, and pandemic books, and I've really, really, really enjoyed them. And then I think I finished my last one, or I'm in between, uh, waiting for her to release the next uh, chapters. And um, I was like, oh, I, I need to listen to something. So I'm just doing audiobooks, blah, 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 blah. And then this one popped up, and I'm like, oh, that sounds pretty good. I wonder why I didn't get that one. It's, you know, I know I've seen that title in the book of the month. I wonder why I didn't get it. And guess what? I have it. But I listened to this audiobook. Oh my gosh. I still want to read this book. It's by Kristen Hanna and it's The Great Alone and it's about uh, people that uh, go to Alaska 1974. He's an ex-POW so he's got a lot of post-traumatic stress um, symptoms, things like that. Um, gets fired from all his jobs. He's got a wife. I don't think she would she didn't work she didn't work but she sounds like she's just a really fun fun lady she doesn't speak to her parents um she was an unwed mother uh parents hated him didn't want her to get married to him wanted her to give the baby up for adoption she opted to leave home marry this guy she's had a troubled life ever since he's very very abusive towards her very possessive and um, got a young daughter that's a pre-teenager that's in school and just gets uprooted all the time because he's just constantly constantly getting jobs and getting fired from his temper um, and just from the post-traumatic stress syndromes and things that he has is like nightmares at night and just like I said a very abusive guy so anyway they are down to their last dollar and he's got fired again and he's uh, let's go to Alaska we're gonna live off the land we don't need anybody so anyway she goes home and she kind of begs her mom and dad for some money of course they try to talk her into staying and leaving him and she doesn't 
But anyway, so they give her some money. So she has some money that, of course, she hides from her husband because he would just blow it. They go to Alaska, and he had a friend um, when he was in Vietnam um, that had passed away but had given him his land. So he goes up to stay in that cabin, and it's really, really rustic. I mean, there's no electricity in this part of Alaska where they are, no running water, and they have a hard, hard time. But anyway, great, great story. It gets better. It's really, you you got to get hooked on this book. But anyway, the reader of this book, her name was Julia something or other. I'll, I'll leave it linked below. Um, it was on a channel that I found, Isis Pope. And I'm already listening to another one of her books by the same author. And the same author and the same narrator. It's her voice, it's just, oh my gosh. And she does all the different characters. And it's it's an amazing, amazing book. Um, so if you have this book and you haven't read it yet, you've got to read it. If you are into audiobooks, you're going to love this book too. So I am going to leave that link below as well, the channel where I found this book and the narrator. You're going to love it. It is awesome. Alrighty, so on to that. Now, of course, now I'm doing another one of hers, Hannah, Kristen Hannah books, The Four Wind, The Four Winds about the Dust Bowl and the Depression and the move to everyone going to immigrating to California to work farms and things like that. Oh my God, that is, you know, we think some days that we have it tough and then you listen to these people that were farmers in Texas that had no rain, no crops, their livestock were dying, they couldn't have any way of feeding them, their farms were getting repossessed, um, people were just dying from just breathing in the, the dust and just the hard, hard life that they had. And we think, oh my gosh, I broke a fingernail, what am I gonna do? Oh my God, that book is, that, that book is really, really good too. But anyway, so yeah, I'm gonna need another sip. This is really, really good. Thank you, Alfred. But anyway, got a few Timu hauls that I probably have got scheduled out for Timu Tuesdays. So I'm excited about having those done. They are so much fun and doing the wine diaries with you guys. So much fun. I was doing wine Wednesday, but it was just, it's just too much to have uh, wine on Wednesday. And then again on Friday, and then I got these open bottles and I'm not drinking them all and I hate I just hate throwing them out so anyway I stopped doing one Wednesday for a while and we'll, I may end up going back to it but I figured for now I'll stop so just trying to fill in some Wednesdays so I thought why not be Wednesday Adams on Wednesdays so I've been trying to do maybe a wellness Wednesday which I've been kind of lacking on wellness Wednesdays and the empties things like that and um, of course with glossy box uh, not selling I've got some outlet boxes I've got two okay three that I haven't opened yet I opened two and they're the same ones that they keep sending me so I'm kind of like okay four I get four unopened ones <laughs> Okay, and I think I've got three that I ordered that I'm waiting for. I <laughs> I don't know. You just kind of want to slap yourself sometimes and say, why are you doing this? But anyway, I know that two of them uh, that I had are those ones that I keep getting with the uh, pillowcase and the other one with the black marble spa roller. Don't even know if I want to open them or if I just want to kind of open them and go like this and say, hey, this is A, this is B. If anybody wants one write down which one you want below and we'll do a giveaway i think that's the only thing that i can do at this point with them um another one is and i think i got the box below it was like that leopard print box i wanted to get the one that's it's going to be the same things but i wanted the zebra print box because i just thought they were fun that to have those two boxes and they sent me another leopard box so i've got that one but i know that was in it i know that was a great box too so i know i want that one so whether or not I open it again, I don't know. I got one of the smaller um, holiday boxes. I haven't opened that one yet because I, I don't know why. I don't know why I didn't open that one yet. But anyway, I've got that to do. And then, I don't know. I'm going to blame hanging out with Kim. She opened the big advent box one from 2022 that I've been seeing. I've been seeing it every time I go onto the website. And I said, well, I'm going to wait to see if it goes any lower. Who knows if it will. It was like over $800 worth of product for $39.99. And I said, you know what? If I keep waiting for it to go down, what happens if it sells out? And then I'm going to miss out. So 
like I said, I'm blaming hanging out with Kim because I just watched her. So I said, you know what? I got to do it. I got to do it. So of course, anything that I don't, you know, it'd be nice to buy one and then give one away. But it's just so expensive to mail things. So I, and then worrying about breakage with something that big. So I thought, well, you know, anything I don't use, whatever, I will put in a, a giveaway for something like that. But so yeah, I got those. I may have ordered another outlet box. I don't know. I'm so confused because sometimes they just come like this and then other times you're like waiting and then you get something you didn't order and it's like, well, am I still waiting for the one that I ordered? Should I try to reorder it? Yeah, I think I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> I'm done. So yeah, I'm not buying anymore already. So I got those done. And um, yeah, so I think that's about about it other than the normal things that I'm going to do. Like I said, I haven't done a wellness Wednesday in a while. I have been keeping up with my book and it's, um, you know, it's just, it's depressing is what it is. <laughs> I'm still keeping up with it because I don't want to give up. You know, I'm still trying to do the best that I can. It's just been so muggy and even with the air on, it's just, it's hot, it's muggy and um, my oxygen keeps going down to 93 when I try to exercise, so I just haven't really been able to do too much, but I'm keeping up with it. So I will probably, probably try to do a depressing wellness Wednesday this month. Um, let me, there's a, you know, but I'm still like putting the information that I do and decorating my book with the stickers on the bottom. So it's, it's just not going to show any real improvement or anything like that, but I will probably still do that just to let people know that it's okay to get discouraged. It's okay not to be making the progress you wanted to make, to just keep trying and do the best you can. I think once this heavy air goes away, I mean, even just doing um, like my Timu videos and just trying to change a few things back and forth by the end of that video, I'm like huffing and puffing. So just a little bit of activity is enough to just really take the life right out of your lungs. I know, but I'm not giving up. I'm still trying. And then of course for my wellness planner, not my wellness planner, but my planner journal. And I've been waiting for the ones like they've had the ones, the 18 month ones uh, go on sale again. They're already been offering some of them at like 40% off, but I really didn't want another 18 month one. I just wanted to get one that's going to be like January to December that they haven't come out with yet. So I'm hopeful that they will. Otherwise, I will have to get one of the 18 months uh, one again. So I have been keeping up with this. And um, yeah, but I just haven't been able to show anybody. Um, I don't know why. I think I, I'm just kind of lacking energy, whatever. So, but anyway, so that's kind of like what my page is looking here. These, this is the one from Rick's Anniversary Week. But I have got like April, May, June, July that I haven't shown anybody yet. So I will try to do maybe April and May, maybe just April. We'll just see how long this goes to see how much longer I have to put something in without it being too late. But anyway, I'm running out of breath again. And um, I'm dying to have my pineapple pizza with my pineapple Pepsi. So anyway, I want to thank you guys so much for stopping in, spending some time with me. You guys, you guys really are awesome. I really look forward to reading your comments every night and trying to get back to everybody and watch some videos. Um, working 12, 13 hour days is not really conducive to trying to keep up on YouTube. But like I said, I'm trying the best that I can. I hope everybody goes out, has a fabulous day. Again, if you happen to check out um, uh, Kimmy from Hanging Out With Kim, say hello and let her know that she made me spend money. And uh, again, if you haven't checked out Alfred yet, I hope that you can check him out, show his channel some love. I think he's just over 90 subs, so his channel's kind of growing. And um, I think you're gonna like his content and I know you're going to love his puppies as well. So anyway, take care everyone, stay safe, be kind, be happy, enjoy life, have some fun. Love you guys so much and we will see you in our next video. Bye-bye. Alrighty, so we are into April. And Easter came early this year, so the first week of April. So we decided to make this week all about Easter. So our first picture up here, we have Quinn. It's the first Easter, and they came out to Minnesota to see us. And we were at the Ridgedale Mall, where that giant Easter bunny was. 
took some really good pictures. Then we went for a ride up to Duluth and it was so, so windy that uh, we actually had to turn around and come home. Poor Quinn couldn't breathe. He was trying to catch his breath and had a heck of a time, as they say in Minnesota. Then we had a Timu Tuesday. It was actually my second haul. I had two and three uh, hauls mixed together. Then we actually had a Wine Wednesday with a Villamit Valley Vineyards Chardonnay. Really good. I couldn't find a picture of Maddie Matt around Easter time, so I've got one right here of Matty Matt right here when he was uh, just a baby and then I also put a picture of Matt here when we went to the Spam Museum one Thanksgiving and that was how many talls how many Spam cans tall he was so if we ever make it back we'll have to have him pose again if he, if he will you know as they get older they may not want to pose for us anymore then of course we had a Wine Wednesday um, let's see, I had to ship paperwork to the office. Yeah, that's exciting. And we uh, did some filmings, so that was fun. But anyway, we had uh, Wink Wine right here. Then we got Aiden and Tori Pie, the jelly beans. We've got their very first Easter. And uh, then we had another, that's where I did the glossy box, the Easter egg. So we've got that thumbnail here. And then we've got some Easter's past. So that was one year, probably the early 1960s, maybe even like 1961. My sister Linda and myself with my mom right here. I think that dog's name was Cindy. Maybe Nancy's Cynthia. I think I had two of those. All my dogs had my name in front of it. And then the same year we're posed with my dad. Alrighty, so the second week in April, and I love Alice in Wonderland, the Mad Hatter. So that was the theme this week, and this was the week that our oldest daughter, Raina, her husband, Jeremy, uh, Maddie, Matt, and Quinn came out to visit. So we just had a great time visiting. Uh, so anyway, I've just got this right here, just to say that they're coming, and I had to start rewashing towels and bedding, because everything probably hadn't been washed other than what I normally use, hadn't been used in probably six years, so I wanted everything to be nice and fresh. We have four more days, and I was going crazy with my washing, with my dryer that was recently fixed. Uh, we did a Timu try-on. It was my number four, and I brought my Mad Hatter hat on that also came from Timu. Uh, we did a Wellness Wednesday, so I've got my thumbnail right there, and then just some different things that we did. We went to the St. Michael theater and that was what the inside of it looks like right there it's just really really nice looking we went to see the mario brothers and it was in 3d it was better than i thought it would be i thought it would be whatever but i have no idea what i thought but it was good the kids enjoyed it it was really really fun all righty so i've got a wine wednesday so i've got a wink right there pinot noir and i had it with salmon we went to the mall of america I think this was at the, maybe the jelly bean store, but we had posed for a picture along the wall. So we got Maddie Matt, we got Jeremy, Raina, there's me trying to hide, and there's Quinn. Then we also went to the Lake Elmo Inn, so I've got that here. That's this picture here. And of course we never think of taking pictures before the table's emptied and the food's there. But anyway, it was a nice picture. It's tradition to go to the Lake Elmo Inn. They have one of the best brunches or they did anyway, the best brunches used to be the buffet. And I guess after, you know, COVID things kind of changed. So now they have a set menu and they bring you plates and things like that. Little samples of everything. And uh, I had posted the book of the month. Anyway, I do love that kit that I used with the Alice in Wonderland theme. And it was so much fun having the kids there. Alrighty, so continuing our fun with Rainer and family, one of the traditions that we do when they're here is uh, Jeremy is uh, like a BMX enthusiast. I don't know, he does into, into all kinds of racing and things like that. So there's a store on the other side of the city, um, Bob Cycle. So that's always a place that we go to. So when they first came out here and we went, he was like, yeah, I'm going to move here. I'm going to work at Bob's and he even asked for um, a, an application. So it was just, just kind of funny that, so that's tradition. We always have to go there. Uh, another tradition is the River Inn. That's one of my favorite restaurants in Hanover. Best prime rib around. So, so good. No matter what we have it's always good so that's the river in here and it was just a nice trip that we went to 
And then back to video. So I did a Timu haul number five. Uh, Quinn also went to his first concert. So there was one at the Armory in, um, in Minneapolis. So he had met some friends online. And uh, so it was kind of scary. Raina, I think, was a nervous wreck. Uh, leaving him there but we dropped him off and then we went to the Mall of America to walk around for a bit but did you know the Mall of America closes on on Tuesday it was like closing at seven o'clock so we had to have a plan B and we actually went to a restaurant we'd never been to before in Minneapolis it was the Red Cow Diner and we had these hamburgers that were like I think 70% of really good Angus beef and 30% chopped bacon and then really thick smoked bacon on top oh my god so good Rainer and I had some great martinis and it was it was an awesome night and then we picked up Quinn who had a fabulous fabulous time and just really fun that's a picture of the uh, the red cow right there on Wednesday was their last day here. They were leaving. We went to Willie McCoy's. It's a like a sports bar in the next town over Albertville. We had a nice dinner together and then they ended up going home. Um, and one of the traditions that we do at Mall of America, we also went to a Bubba Gump shrimp. Always great food, so much fun. And then of course back to work. I went back to work on Friday and of course I did another wink wine wine diary saturday i slept in um it was so much fun to see everybody we did a lot of walking more than i'm used to we did some outlet malls and things like that as well got a lot of steps in but it was it was tiring so i ended up sleeping really late i mentioned that while they were here there were some nights that we just kind of hung around and uh, they signed into their hulu account and so we walked that, watched that uh, Schitt's Creek thing. I've never watched that before. Such, such a riot. Loved it. And in fact, I continued to watch it after they left. It was really, really fun. Sunday, back to doing another video. And I had my April Glossy Box, Bloom and Grow. And then there's another picture of us down at the bottom here at the Mall of America. I'm looking up... Um, up, there was like a skylight that had all kinds of butterflies and things hanging down. It really didn't come out good in the picture, but you know what? We, we came out good, so that's the most important part. And for the last week in April, it was the Jelly Beans' birthday. So they were born around Easter. Um, they were under a pound and so, so tiny. They were like the size of Sabrina's hand. They were in NICU for quite a while. So there's a picture up at the top here of Sabrina holding the jelly beans when they came out of NICU. I think they're about four months old when they came out and she could actually hold them. So that was a pretty exciting day for her. Um, Tuesday um, uploaded Timu number six and that was actually the jelly beans birthday. Happy birthday jelly beans. They are 12 years old. Wednesday, I think that was the first time I dressed up as a Wednesday Adams with my Timu wig, my Timu clothes. Of course, I had to get a, my Halloween goblet out. And we just did some trash talking, talking a little trash. And uh, then uh, the next day, we did our Ipsy Boxy Charm. And Wednesday, for Friday, we had another Wink Diary, Wine Diary. Um, actually, we had uh, the winner for the giveaway on the Wellness Journal. And another ipsy glam bag and then there's just a picture down here of the jelly beans so their first birthday and then here they are at the bowling alley for their 12th birthday 12 years old for the jelly beans mm -hmm.